Welcome to this video review. Today I'm going to talk about Zeiss Terra ED 10x42 binoculars. These are entry-level Zeiss binoculars. They cost around 550 euros. So this is basically the, the ticket to Zeiss world or how to say. So you know that Zeiss is one of the most famous producer of sport optics in the world. They're based in Germany. Uh, they're really about 150 years old, even though in the in the in the meantime in the in the middle of their existence they were two Zeiss companies. So Zeiss uh, Jena, where the company originated from, but which was in East Germany, and then Zeiss West Germany in Oberkochen uh, and in Wetzlar, uh, so in two different cities in Germany. Uh, now. Only one size is still left, and this size is uh, based in Wetzlar. Even though in 2019 they moved majority of all of their people from um, and all of their operations from Wetzlar to Oberkochen. Uh, size is really a big company. They produce a lot of stuff, not only sport optics. So a sport optics is just a small part of their business. And in the last decade, their philosophy changed. So, you know, uh, all the way until, let's say, 2000, even maybe 2010, all of their products were made in Europe and majority of them in Germany. They do have a small factory also in uh, Hungary, where they produce like small rubber eyepieces and similar stuff. They also produced Conquest binoculars in, I think, 2005 to 2000. 12, 2013, something like that. They produced the Conquest binoculars in, in Hungary, but majority of all other products were produced in Germany. With Terra, this changed. They came out with Terra uh, rifle scopes at the start, I think it was 2015, which were made in Japan, and now these binoculars are made in China. So a lot of things changed. The philosophy behind it is that you are able to buy size in any single price class you wish. Uh, and when we talk about Terra, if we talk about Terra exactly, uh, there are four different models at the moment. Uh, 8x32, 10x32, 8x42 and 10x42 that we have here today. And this is already the generation 2, I think. They, they made a small facelift, a small upgrade uh, in, I think, to 2019. These binoculars are still available in two different colors, either black, like this one, or in gray. Um, they're waterproof. Uh, the soft rubber covers the, the housing, and the housing is made out of plastic. Um, they're filled with nitrogen, and they claim that they will work from minus 25 to plus 75 uh, degrees. 14 centimeters in height, roughly 12 centimeters in width. So a really compact single hinge design with a central focusing. Um, 720 grams of weight. In all these aspects, the binoculars are, I would say, in the average values of this class. The warranty is, however, only two years, because you know, for with all European made size products, you get a 10 years warranty. With this product, you get a two years warranty which if you consider the price is more or less expected. So if we go through the other features, so the eyepieces, they have basically three different positions, fully extracted, middle position, and the lowest positions for all of those who wear eyeglasses. They have a nice feeling, they're firm, made out of rubber, it's soft, and they offer good support, so they are not too, they are not too, they're, they're, they're okay. Uh, also on the, on the right eyepiece, you have the, you see here, the diopter setting, which I think goes from minus four to plus four. The diopter setting is far more soft than the eyepieces itself. Uh, so, the eyepieces are nicely firm while the diopter setting is really, really soft, especially when you move it once. The eye relief is 18 millimeters. So the eye relief is it's okay. Even if you wear glasses, you will still be able to use them normally. 
the focusing is central you see it says designed by size and it goes approximately one and a half turn so the focus is somewhere between a slow focus for hunting and between a fast focus for for uh, birding the reason for it is that size they are not really concentrating on hunting market with these binoculars they're more concentrating on travelers hikers also bird watchers uh, those who are novice bird bird watchers and they're not they're not going for for experienced bird watchers or experienced hunters so they made an all-round binoculars which will be useful for anyone who is um, wishing to buy a really famous brand and for affordable amount of money if we go to the optical performance normally normal eight times zoom uh, and eight time magnification not zoom i apologize eight time magnification and 42 millimeter objective lens this is standard this is the majority of all the binoculars are made this way so this are no exception the roof prisms schmidt and pechan type this is the reason why the binoculars are so compact we know that with some size binoculars really expensive ones made in germany you also are able to buy habe koenig prisms inside for 550 euros this is something that you're not able to expect the field of view is 125 meters so average not exceeding the class and not lacking behind um, all the coatings are all the lenses are and the prisms are multi fully multi-coated um, okay now like with every review i will go through the positives and negatives or sweet and sour of these binoculars as you can see i didn't went much through what you get in the in the box you get a nice cleaning cloth a nice neoprene carrying bag uh, carrying strap uh, objective lens uh, eyepiece lens covers objective lens covers and a carrying bag a really simple one okay let's go through the sweet and sour um, first of all, what I like with these scopes is that uh, the design is very modern, is very nice, and it's very pleasant. Also, the touch and feel of the binoculars, the materials used, are very, very pleasant. Uh, the carrying strap is nice, neoprene one, and the uh, eyepiece lenses, uh, the covers, are really nice. Made out of rubber, soft rubber, and so on. Um, I also think that... Um, all what you get in uh, with size and uh, with the in the box and so on it's it's a pleasant experience when you buy it so it's it's modern it's pleasant it's like buying an iphone it's a it's a good experience this is something what i like i also like the focusing feel it's firm but at the same time soft enough that you are not uh, well that it's easy to use it I do understand why they decided to, to, to have this speed of focus, which is not really hunting, not really bird watching, but it suits all the needs. So I think the focusing really went well. I also think that the close focus distance of only 1.6 meters is also a big plus. Okay, now what I think it's not so positive. First of all, I think that the um, decision for size to go in every single price class at least in my humble opinion it's it's a mistake uh these binoculars are average in its class okay they wear size logo you get all the additions and so on they're well made and so on but they they are not exceeding others in class they're they're good purchase good value but for size this is not enough at least in my opinion because if you look at leica if you look at swarovski none of them has binoculars below 1000 euros and there is a reason for it because when you buy a premium class products like size you know it's a premium it's a premium brand you expect premium quality but for 550 euros you're not able to buy premium you're not able to produce premium quality it's it's logical so the optical performance even though it's i would say average and good for this class it's not really what you expect from size the second thing is, especially in the Eastern Europe, now a lot of people will say, okay, size, a lot of hunters will go with these binoculars. And they will say, I bought a, I bought a size for, for hunting and so on. 
and they will expect to get the optical performance of let's say close to to size conquest which is a benchmark in its class because size conquest is one of the best if not the best binoculars you can buy for 1000 euros and when everybody knows okay that size conquest is one of the best binoculars i can buy size victory sf it is the benchmark we always say it's really hard to say if Swarovski EL or uh, Leica Noctivita are better or equal and so on. I would say they are equal, but still the Victory SF, it's astonishingly good. So you have the Victory SF on one side, 8x42, which is one of the best, if not the best binoculars. Then you have a Conquest HD for 1000 euros, which is probably the best binoculars for 1000 euros. And then you come to size Terra and you expect something similar. Normally for 550 euros you are not able to expect, but people will because of this sign. And this is, I think, it's 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 decision which we will see. Time will tell if if it's what uh, was the right decision or not. Okay, what else? What else could have been also done better? Everybody expects long warranty periods from size. You get only two years warranty on this one normally. Uh, the diopter setting. It is too soft. I will do it like this. It just, it is too soft. It will move accidentally, I, I would presume. Or at least the chance of moving it accidentally is bigger than with, with other products. Uh, I also think that the if the eyepiece covers are really, really good, then the objective lens covers are not that good. Uh, it could have, They could have been done better. Um, so all in all, what to say? Uh, Good value for money, even though when you see the size brand on it, you would expect much more. Um, I would also say that uh, those who are saying, okay, I will buy it, size Terra ED for hunting, I got the size and so on, they are missing a point a little bit. Um, I also think that uh, even in this class for 500 euros, 125 meters of field of view or 110 meters, I apologize, this is... 10 by 42 uh, model so 110 meters of field of view is not bad but still when you see the apparent field of view you it could have been done a little bit better but all in all a good value binoculars but i think that the brand is wrong with this brand you expect more than good value and you, you expect more than an average good binoculars you expect to to have excellent binoculars you expect among the best binoculars and this is the reason why i think that um, we will see what time will tell about this decision that size went into 500 euros class of binoculars and uh, offered their option if you're buying however binoculars for hiking and uh, outdoor activities and uh, you like the design you will not be disappointed but you, if you come from a hunting or birding society if you're a little bit more experienced user you would expect more from size Okay, thank you for watching. Please check our other reviews of binoculars. Check Conquest HD binoculars, which are probably the best binoculars you can buy in 1000 euros class. And if you have any additional questions, send us an email or check our webpage.